people that were prior athletes, be it in youth, in high school. 100% accurate. Go follow him. He's a board certified cardiologist. As a board certified cardiologist, certified personal trainer, and a youth football coach and soccer in the past. Um, completely agree. Uh, when, when we look at large databases and meta-analyses of athletes or people who were athletes at some point in the past, even when they look at NFL athletes, we have found that people who played a sport later in life, they are less likely to suffer from cardiovascular disease because they didn't have time to smoke and really couldn't. They were generally more athletic, more cardiovascularly fit, more uh, cardiorespiratory fitness, have more muscle mass, you know, which is very cardioprotective. Um, all of these things give you more protection against cardiovascular disease. Or LDLs less likely to be elevated. You know, they ate healthier because they had nutritionists and they had like coaching on what to eat and what not to eat, how to nourish your body. You know, they took care of their bodies and their heart, and they generally had really good. Uh, genetics when it comes to athleticism, cardiovascular, respiratory fitness, those kind of things. So highly recommend that um, the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association recently added weightlifting or resistance training to the guidelines as well. We want you to do 150 minutes a week of moderate, low to moderate intensity exercise or 75 minutes of super intense exercise and also add weightlifting or resistance training at least once or twice a week to help build muscle, which is cardioprotective. You can see me, I'm in my home gym today, but I definitely try to build up muscles as well. That's often forgotten uh, in our patients and we don't recommend it enough as cardiologists. We really should be doing that. Go follow him, cardiologist, excellent information. You'll like it.